Spectators gathered to cheer on thousands of triathletes as they tackled the 2019 Ironman 70.3 today in St. George. ABC4's Katie Corrales was there and spoke with some of the pro athletes and the spectators at the event. Athletes say the Ironman 70.3 St. George course is one of the most difficult in the country, and today's high temperatures slowed many of them down. So, thanks, thanks for the weather. For those With temperatures reaching the mid-80s today, top athletes from 35 countries are competing in the Ironman 70.3 North American Pro Championship. It's a really honest course. Uh, Hard bike, hard to run. It's the 10th consecutive year St. George has hosted the Elite Triathlon. It's just exciting and it's motivating and it makes you want to go out and be the, a runner next year. Rudolf von Berg of Boulder, Colorado was the first to cross the finish line shortly after 10.30, making his triathlon in under four hours. I caught Eric Lagerstrom and then he dropped a bottle so he had to go back to get it. And then right away from there, I pushed the pace. Holly Lawrence from Great Britain became the first female athlete to complete the race, setting a new course record. So I just swing it by my coach last night and say, can I go for the course record? And he was like, no, you're going to Vietnam, just play it safe. The race comes just a few days after St. George got the nod to host the 2021 Ironman 70.3 World Championship and announced the return of the full distance Ironman to the city. Yeah, I think it would make a perfect World Champ course. And I have a lot of good memories here, so yeah, I can't wait. St. George officials say the city wouldn't have been chosen for such a colossal event if it weren't for the community and the hundreds of volunteers who work hard to support the triathletes. Athletes who qualify will head to Nice, France in September for the Ironman 70.3 World Championship. Reporting in St. George, Katie Corrales, ABC4 News. This year's Iron